In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this main menu GUI. So without further ado, let's get right into it. To get started, head over to Starter GUI, click plus, and create a screen GUI. This is basically the UI that's going to pop up on the screen when you first join. And once you have it created, go ahead and turn off reset on spawn so the player doesn't see it every time they die. Next, hit plus and create a frame. Inside the properties of this frame, which by the way, if you can't see it, go to view, make sure you turn them uh, both on, explore and properties. Go down properties and turn on, or not turn on, but set the size to 1 comma zero comma one comma zero this basically just makes it all on the player's screen and it will look like this next thing you want to do is go back to screen gui and make sure you turn on ignore gui inset this just makes it so it actually goes to the top i'll show you guys what i mean by that later so now you have this frame and uh if you want to change the color you can go over to background color and make the color anything you want i'm going to use this blue next thing you want to do is go ahead and create a text button once you have your text button go ahead and make it however you want it to look look like and place it near the middle of the screen go ahead and change the text to say play with maybe an exclamation mark and hit enter it'll be set like this then go down in properties and we can change the font i'm gonna make my font uh let's say luckiest guy and then with this font right here what you can do is make it bold if you want uh italicize if you want then you can change the text color i'm gonna make my text color white and then you can make the background transparency set to one or you can actually change the background transparency or the background color once you're in the background color it's gonna look a little like this if the text is about out you might uh, want to use a different font so i'm gonna be using this font right here and there's my play button once you have your play button done, you want to maybe go ahead and create a UI corner, and this UI corner will basically just round off the edges. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and name the text button. I'm going to call mine play because it's the play button, and go ahead and duplicate it by right clicking and pressing duplicate, and then name this button settings. Then what you want to do is go ahead and change the position, just drag it down, and then change the text to say settings. Once you have the uh, button set to settings, next thing you want to do is go ahead and create a script. So the first thing you want to do is inside the play button, create a local script and inside the script, once you double click it, it should open up, go ahead and type local button equals script dot parent. Once you have that done, do button dot mouse button one click, colon, connect and then function. And then uh, right here, you want to create two brackets, drop down a bit like this. It should create an end with a bracket right there. Go ahead and type script dot parent dot parent dot visible equals false. Once you're done this script, go ahead and close it off. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and script the settings menu. So for this, let's create another frame inside our frame. Name this frame with settings frame. Once you name it settings frame, go ahead and size it. I'm going to make it like this. And then you want to create a close button. But before that, you also want to uh, change the background transparency. A little bit darker than the more normal background though. Go ahead and create a UI corner inside. Once you have that done, go ahead and create a close button. To make a close button, make a text button. Make the text button a square and put the text button in the top right. Change the text to say X and then change the font to anything you want. Whatever X looks good to you. I'm going to be using this font right here. It makes a nice little X like that. Then change the text color to red so your X is red. You may need to move this slider to the top. But once you do that, you can go up and change the background transparency to 1. Once you do that, you'll have a X button. And now we just script this text button. I'm going to call it close and then create a local script inside. The next thing you want to do is go over to the play button, open up the script and copy the code from the play button. Then go to your newly made local script inside the close button and paste that code in. Once you're done that, go ahead and seal everything off. And then what we can do is go ahead and script the main settings button. For this, let's go ahead and create a local script. And before that, let's go ahead and make the settings frame invisible. So for this, just click the frame, go to visible and turn that off and then open up the script and paste in the code from the play button. Once again, just like this, go ahead and copy it all and then paste it in here. Once you're done that, go ahead and make some edits. So what we need to do is go ahead and make it so that when the button is clicked, it goes up. So script dot parent dot parent dot settings frame and then makes the settings frame property visible true. Because what happens is when we make it true, it pops up. Let's go to the script and change that line of code. So let's do script dot parent dot parent dot settings frame dot visible equals true. Once you have this line written out, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and close off the script, hit play and test out your loading screen, hit play and test out your newly made main menu. So as soon as you load in, you'll see that it goes all the way to the top. If you don't enable the GUI inset that I talked about earlier, it's going to be cut off about here. It's going to look really weird. So make sure you have that on so it goes all the way to the top. If you click settings, the settings frame will open and you can go ahead and close it off. And if you click play, that frame will disappear. 
If you reset character, the frame will not appear. That's because we disabled the reset on spawn property. As you can see, it does not appear. So anyways, guys, if this video did help you out and it works in your game, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to let me know that that worked. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.